Okay, uh, let's start the uh, surface integrals of area. This is the first type of surface integrals. Um, we use a practical problem to derive the definition of surface integrals of area. That is the mass of a thin sheet. If the thin sheet is less on a surface with density with density uh, rho x y z, that means the density is changed from point to point. So we cannot use the uh, the formula that is a uh, the mass is uh, uh, this area times the density because the density is change from is changing from point to point. So how to find the mass of, of this thin sheet? Uh, the the base the basic uh, basic idea is divide the thin sheet into small parts small sections. In each small section, uh, because the section is too small, that we can choose uh, any point in any point on the surface and uh, use the density at this point as a rep uh, as a represent representation of the density of whole uh, sections. So the at this section, the mass can be approximated by the density at this point because the section is too small that the density that does not change much. Then the density times the area is a uh, is the uh, mass of this section and the total mass that is the summation of all some the mass of all small sections can be approximated by the summation i from 1 to n uh, rho x i star y i star and c i star times delta s i and if we let delta S is the max area of all delta S i, and uh, let delta S the max part, uh, the area of the max part, uh, ten uh, approaches to zero, then we got the precise precise value of the total mass. Delta S tends to zero summation I from one to N rho X I star Y I star and C I star times delta S I. So there's uh, there's limit and summation. We use a symbol the integration on the S as rho X Y C, D, S. So we have the definition. The integration, the surface integration over S, over the surface of area. That is the limit delta s tends to zero and the summation i from one to n f x i star y i star c i star and then delta s i that's the definition of surface integral over area and how to compute the uh, the surface integra integration of area that is evaluation of surface 
and cross our area. Uh, from the last video, we know that uh, if the surface is represented by a graph x or y belongs to d, then the ds is a square root 1 plus 3x square plus 3y square, then dx dy. So it's uh, on x and y on the domain, on the plane. So the surface integral, uh, so the integration variable is x and y. So the surface integral is chain, uh, is integration on the domain of x and y. That is integration on d. Then f, x, y, and z. Use the reference. Uh, use the expression that is g x y, and the d s that is the square root one plus g x square plus g y square. Then d x d y. That's uh, uh, that is the surface as as determined by a graph, and the second. If the surface is determined by a parametric equation, that is r equals r u v, and u v belongs to the domain, then d s we 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 already know that d s is r u cross r v, the length of r u cross r v, then d u d v. So the surface integral f x y c d s change everything to be u v so that x change to be expression of u v y u v c u v and then the d s that is r u the length of r u cross r v Then so R U cross R V and D U D V. That's the uh, computation for surface integrals. Now let's use the uh, this formula to uh, use this formula to compute the surface integral. First, we see the first example is uh, evaluate the surface integral s and as y ds, where s is the surface. z equals x plus y square x less greater than 0 less than 1 and y greater than 0 less than 2 uh, so the surface is a graph and so we take the uh, partial derivative of g for x and y gx is 1 g y is 2y so d s that is square root 1 plus g x square plus g y square then d x d y that is 1 plus 1 plus 4 y square d x d y that is uh, square root 2 plus 4y square dx dy. So the surface integral as y ds and the, do, the 
d, the domain is x from 0 to 1, y from 0 to 2, uh, y times ds, that is 2 plus 4y squared, and dy dx. Use the u substitution, we take u uh, as uh, 2 plus 4y squared. Then we got the uh, u equals 2 plus 4y squared. So du that is 1h y dy. So that is from 0 to 1, 1 over h. That's square root u. There's a y dy. That's a 1 over h. Oh, no, that's h. That is h y. So y y dy is one of one h du, and that's square root u. So that is two over three, uh, two plus four y square. That's three over two from zero to two. Then dx. There's no x here, so we. Uh, and take uh, integration x directly. So that is, uh, takes the upper limit and the lower limit into the expression. That is 1 over 12. When x equals 2, that is 18. 3 over 2 minus, when take 0, that is 2, 3 over 2. Uh, we can uh, simplify for this one. 18, 3 over 2, that act, act two, uh, three, uh, 3 square root 2 over cube minus square root 2 over cube. Mm. That is 1 over 12 cube. That's 27, 27 times 2 square root 2. That is uh, 40, uh, 54 square root 2 minus 2 square root 2. That is uh, four, uh, 52 square root 2 over 12. You can give, uh, that's common factor of 4. That's 13 square root 2 over 3. That's the first example. The, the surface is a graph. Then we can use the first, uh, the first formula. And the second equation is the second example. That's the first. We use that's the first. It's if a graph, we, if the surface is a graph, we use this formula. And the second one is evaluate the surface integral x squared ds, where s is a unit sphere. x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals more. It's not a graph. If we want to use the uh, explicit function of z, so it should divide into parts, uh, the upper semi-sphere semi or the low and the lower semi-sphere. So that's not convenient to compute the uh, compute uh, the surface integral. So we use the parametric equation. It's maybe easier. From the last video, we know that the uh, parametric equation for uh, the for the sphere with radius a, we have x is a cosine uh, a sine phi. A is one sine phi cosine theta. 
y as sine phi sine theta z is cosine phi a cosine phi because here a is one and theta as from zero to two pi and phi as from zero to pi and uh, we have to compute r theta and r phi r theta as negative sine phi sine theta sine phi cosine theta and zero and r phi that is cosine phi cosine theta cosine phi sine theta and negative sine phi so r theta cross r phi as the lens we, we we already know for this from the last uh, video uh, that is that is sine phi there uh, in last video there the a there is a square but now the a is one so that is actual sine sine phi so the surface integral x square ds that is from 0 to 2 pi and 0 to pi that's phi x square that is a sine phi square cosine theta square and ds that is a sine phi and d phi d theta and first we uh, integration phi from 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi that is cosine theta square sine square phi sine phi that is 1 minus cosine phi square and times sine phi and d phi d theta we use the u substitution as u we use u is cosine phi then d u is negative sine phi d phi so the integration after we integration and uh, uh, substitution so phi back that's cosine theta square Mm. That's one third cosine cube phi minus cosine phi, and from zero to pi, then d theta. Zero to two pi uh, cosine theta square. Uh, uh, substitution as uh, uh, insert pi at the upper limit and the lower limit in into the expression we have uh, when when phi equals pi cosine phi is negative one so negative one third uh, plus one then is for zero that is minus one third plus 1 and d theta that is 2 minus uh, 2 over 3 that 4 over 3 and 0 to 2 pi cosine theta square d theta the cosine theta square we use double angle the identity of double angle that is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 and d theta that is 4 over 3 times uh, theta over 2 plus uh, sine 2 theta over 4 from 0 to 2 pi uh, the sine 2 theta uh, insert the uh, upper limit and the lower limit uh, this part will be zero that is four over three times pi as two pi over two that's the final ex uh, answer for this line uh, for this surface integral
uh, this uh, example we used the parametric equation the second formula use the parametric as this the second one okay that's the uh, surface integrals of air 